morning everybody today is wednesday so we are doing another segment of walking for wellness wednesday i am here at goodwill columbus edge hill some of you might not recognize the parking garage in the back of us i have two very special guests and first with me is nurse benson hey everybody and then we also have connie one of our managers here at edge hill say hi connie hey. All right, guys, so we are going to do some fun walking with you guys. And today is such a nice day that we decided to do it outside. And I hope you guys, wherever you are, make time to walk with us. So hang in there. All right. So anyways, we don't have music. So we're just going to kind of start off with like a little slow pace march. Just wherever you are. If you want to get some stretching in, you can go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get our arms to stretch. Because when we do walking for wellness, we never stretch. But we should, right? Right, Nurse Vincent? That's right. That's right. So we're gonna just go ahead and do an eight count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's switch arms. Do another eight count. And one, two, three, four. Oops, my sound went out. I think that's what people are commenting. Uh -oh. Sorry, guys. I. I think my sound went out. Give me one second. I am so sorry, guys. Hang on one minute. Let me make sure I am. All right. Can you guys still see Nurse Vincent and Connie? Okay. All right. Uh, Jenny, you, might, you can step over one step to the... Oh, that's okay. There we go. <laughs> Connie's trying to hide everybody. But I'm going to assume you guys continue to stretch your arms. So we're going to go ahead and keep walking, okay? Keep marching. All right. Let's walk it out. So let, um, there's a lady that does some um, walking videos where you can walk in home or in place. And Nurse Benson had, was kind enough to share that with me this morning. Um, what's her name? Her name is Leslie Sansone. So S-A-N-S-O-N-E. S-A-N-S-O-N-E. First name Leslie. So if you guys are interested in doing some other walking videos, you want to do a little more of a faster pace, you can definitely check her out. Uh, we are going to borrow some of her moves and do a side step. Let's start now. So we're going to go side to side. Just step it out. There we go. Stepping it out. Let's do an eight count. And one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Back to our march. There we go. Nice. It's so nice outside. Beautiful. Yes, it's very beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and do our side step one more time before we do fronts and back. We're gonna do an eight count. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight, march it out. We're gonna always go back to that march right here. Remember, if you are someone who prefer to sit and do your walking in place, you can definitely do that. Make sure you are seated comfortably with your back as straight as you can and just march your feet in place. If we do side to side, you can step your feet side to side for that too, okay? All right, hope you guys can hear me. The wind is blowing pretty, pretty fierce over here, but I like how it feels. I don't know how that's coming through on the microphone though. So next we are going to do some front steps. You guys ready? Yeah. We're just going to do a front step. One, two, back, two. 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 Let's do an eight count. Okay, you ready? One, and two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Back to our march. There we go. March it out. All right. You guys enjoy yourself? Yeah. Heart rate up. Woo, it's getting yeah. there. It's Woo. getting there. This is our team for today, guys. It's fun to have somebody with me here. Usually it's just me <laughs> and you guys. I see your comments. I'll check them all out at the end, okay? <laughs> all right. Let's do a back count. So we're going to go back and come back up on the two count. One, two. I'm sorry. That's an eight count. 
three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. March it in place. There we go. Keep going. There we go. Nice. All right. So usually you guys know I like to do five tips from Walk With The Drop each segment. But today, since we have our own paid nurse with us, she's going to tell me some tips, um, some benefits to walking, and then we're going to share those with you guys. So the first tip that she shared with me before we got started is that walking helps burn fat. So whether you're doing fast-paced walking for exercise or leisurely walking, some type of walking, whatever you can do, remember it will help you burn fat. Is that right, Nurse Janet? That's right. Okay. So let's go back to our side step. So we're going to do side to side. Ready? And take it side to side. And let's just rest here for a while so we can work our, our hip abductors. Just a little bit. We don't typically do our side to sides as much as we do our march, but let's get let's get a little burn on them uh, outer legs today. Y'all ready for that? Sure. It's been a while for me. I'll be going back to the gym for the first time this week, so I don't know what my trainer has in store for me, but I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> not really. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> it's always been a good time when you get to work out for me because. I didn't always have that access, but now that I do, I don't ever want to let it go. Mm -hmm. I feel so much lighter and freer now that I've been working out consistently for a year. So, no. Hair fitness isn't open yet. That's right. Her hair fitness is not open yet, but hopefully, fingers crossed soon. Yeah, because I also go there on the uh -huh. weekend. <laughs> yep. So, I'm going to ask Nurse Bisson for another tip. We did one tip. How about another tip? How about you should drink? at least 64 ounces of water every day. That's right, that's right. So you all know from all the different things that we do here at Goodwill that I always have water with me. Even before I started this role, like water is very important to me because it softens your skin, it keeps you hydrated, and it's just something that we all need to make sure that we're drinking, right? Like I try to discourage my kids and my family to not drink as much um, soda and juices because it's not good for you tastes good but it's not good for you so I actually do have my water bottle but my phone is standing up against it today so if you have water let's see like you can have somebody screenshot it post a picture of you drinking water I want to see it nurse Benson says 64 ounces of water a day does a body good right right okay let's go back to our March Woo! I don't know about you ladies but my hip abductors are burning from yeah. that I am going to really be in for something tonight. <laughs> don't kill me, <laughs> please. <laughs> I might have to post a before and after for you guys. <laughs> Show you what that's like. Oh, man. All right. Let's do another front step, and then we'll come back. Let's do a 16 count this time instead of an 8 count. Ready? And go. We're going to go up. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, last one. March it out. There we go. Good job, everybody. All right. Anybody else have any other steps they want to try? Any other moves y'all want to incorporate? Let's start keeping my shoes on. Connie, <laughs> Connie says she's just trying to keep her shoes on. She's wearing sandals today, but I, I want to point that out because I don't want the type of shoes you have on to necessarily discourage you. You want to be safe at all costs. I think Connie's fine, though. She's got a couple of little different straps on her feet. <laughs> And she's on a flat surface. She's not in the grass like Janet and myself. We both have on sneakers. I know you can't see her feet, but. <laughs> oh, there she goes. <laughs> she gonna show it off, okay. Let's add some arms and do like a push up. So let's do a knee up with our steps, okay? One, two, going to eight, three, four, five, six, Seven, 
and eight. March it out. There we go. Back to that march, guys. Y'all know y'all love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. And there we go. We're going to keep on stepping. Let's get another help sit from our nurse. She's thinking of one. Give us some time, guys. She's too busy working on this um, pace that we're keeping up today. Uh, rainy day. Yes, so Nurse Benson said that on rainy days, you can always search on YouTube or put in a video of somebody walking. You don't have to let rainy days stop you from walking like I did a couple weeks ago when I did it here at Edge Hill in Lobby 1. And we did the walking to walking on sunshine. It was a rainy day that day. So that's why I was inside that day. So I actually got good reviews about the walking in place, which is another reason why I wanted to do another segment like this. Um, because I had got information back and feedback from various different staff and individuals saying that they really got a kick out of that. I know you all like the parks and stuff too, and we're going to do both. We're going to continue to do both, just so you know. All right, let's do some um, side steps, but these ones are going to be different, so we're actually going to stand in place, bend your knees a little bit, and we're going to just step out to the side like that. I'm going to get a little, well, let me scoot back a little more so you can see my knees. Okay, so our, our knees are slightly bent, and then we're going to just step out and bring it back in, okay? Let's do these for an eight count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. March it out. That we should do a lunge with that same move, okay? I'm gonna let you guys the move and then I'll show you the lunge. Bring it back down. So I'll do the move and then Nurse Benson is gonna show us the lunge that we're gonna do ready. Ready? So we're gonna go ahead and bend our knees back down a little bit and then. Oh! Oh, so we're gonna go out to the. Okay, so with that lunge, we're gonna do a side twist and a punch out. Woo, look at them arms. That's a good way to get your upper body involved, Nurse Benson. I like that. Okay. We're going to do these for a while. That feels like a boxing class. Oh, yeah, good idea. I took kickboxing in college. Y'all didn't know that, did y'all? That's a good move. Nobody better mess with the Goodwill staff. That's right. I'm going to fall over. Uh-oh. Okay, we're going to have to give Connie a um, okay. modified version. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, you got it? Okay. She got Back it. Back in the game. Remember, you can do these sitting down, and it might be easier for some of us to do this sitting down, Connie. <laughs> okay, let's do an eight count and finish this up. One and two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. March it out. Ooh, I like that. Okay, good. Next health tip. So, Connie, I'm going to call on you way back in the back. Do you have a health tip or a benefit to walking? Well, I'll have to go with what Bree says. Uh huh. This lotion. So, Connie says she's going to have to go with what Boo says. And, Boo, I see that you're on. I saw your comments earlier. I didn't get to read them, but I saw your name pop up. <laughs> And so Connie says that one of Boo's favorite things to say when she's doing movement and music is motion is lotion. It's true. That's and it's true. Say, it's true. That is. It's very true. Remember that a, a body in motion stays in motion, right? So we want to keep ourselves moving if we have that ability in all ways possible. And with that being said, we're going to do our next move. I'm a little winded, and I know this is going to make me a little more winded. But we're going to do it anyway. We're going to do some front kicks. Ready? <laughs> Connie's going to show us the modified version where she's just going to do a slight kick like this. Just She's just going to step her foot out just a little bit like this. And then Janet, you want to do a, a moderate kick where it's just knee level. So Janet will do the uh, moderate kick at knee level. And I am going to wreck myself to do a high kick where I'm going to kick as high as I can. So when you're doing this type of step, you want to make sure that you are holding your core tight 
So you want to be sucking your abs in for a maximum engagement as much as you can. Okay? It'll help to stabilize your body and to help you keep proper form and balance you because we don't want anybody falling over. Now, remember, if it's easiest and you've been doing standing um, walking with us, you can choose to sit down and do this. You'll still get the same benefit, but you'll be more balanced. Safety first. All right. I can't stand any more of these guys, so we're going to start our eight count. Ready? Okay. <laughs> One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Wash it out. That was good. <laughs> I'm burning all over the place. Connie's shoes stayed on, she's saying. Hey, <laughs> congratulations to Connie. She kept the shoes on. I didn't get hit in the back with a right. shoe. <laughs> How funny would that have been, though? We're not trying to go viral in that way, though. <laughs> okay, I can't stop for a drink of water because, as I mentioned, my phone is propped up and my video is being shot from my phone against my water bottle. But if you have water on hand, now would be a good time to stop and take a drink. Don't worry about me. I drank a whole bottle before I started, so I'm good to go. All right. We're going to do some more side steps, okay? And let's slow it down a little bit because I know my heart rate is up. Uh-huh. Mine Ladies. Uh-huh. Yeah. So if our heart rate is up and you've been marching along with us, we can all stand to bring it back down a little bit. I don't want to be breathing all heavy and you guys is here anyway, so let's just kind of take it a little slow. Do some side no reps. So, <laughs> what is that? So it ain't no joke exercising in this mask. Right. Ooh, ooh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yes. Safety first. Safety so, safety first. I am up front, and because I am the host today, I am not wearing my mask. I do have my mask with me, as always. You guys know that I always like to show you guys. Seeing is believing. I have my mask. I've been wearing it all day before this segment, but you wouldn't be able to hear me if I was keeping that mask on and doing this. That's another reason why it was good for us to be outside. We're all staggered at least six feet apart. Looks like we've gotten a little further apart than that, and that's good. Um, Nurse Benson and Connie have had their mask on this whole time. So just remember, if you are in one of the day programs or you're around other people that you don't typically live with, you wanna make sure that you're keeping that mask on as much as possible. It's to protect yourself and the ones around you, okay? And we always want to make sure we are being as safe as possible. Okay. It's hard to breathe with those masks on too. So I really work these ladies quite a bit. So I'm going to let them take an even slower pace. Let's take like, just like a little casual stroll side to side. There we go. My mask is blowing away. Ooh, Got it. That was a squirrel falling okay. the tree. <laughs> I know. I was about to run. <laughs> <laughs> the wind's blowing some extra dead leaves out of the tree. <laughs> Nurse Vincent thought a squirrel was going to attack her. <laughs> Just that leaves. Okay. All right. So we're gonna just take it slow and casually get some stepping in there. There we go. Walk it out. Get some arm movement in there. Deborah, you want to come Work on? your upper body. We no, no, going to Carlton. Miss Deborah, you want to say hi from a distance or come and walk past in the background? Miss <laughs> Deborah is out here from Sage Front Desk. She wants to say hi too. She's gonna do a walk by. <laughs> you can't miss her. She there she is. Exercise walk by. There she is. She's walking with us. She's just gonna do a walk on by. Walk on by. Okay, I ain't gonna sing because uh, I was not given that ta that talent. <laughs> All right, let's go back into a march, ladies. <laughs> oh, Miss Deborah's joining us. Miss Deborah did um, Leslie Song's workout video for four minutes, and I commend her because I was in the same general space as her and. It was no joke, to be honest. I'm going to try that later this week at home She's and then see if I want to bring one of those to one of our Walking for Wellness Wednesday her. sessions. The good thing about her is that within 15 minutes, you've done like two miles and you didn't even know you had. Yes. So, so no. Connie is saying that the good thing about Leslie Song is that within 15 that. minutes, <laughs> you've done about two miles and it didn't really even seem like two miles, but definitely keeps you going. So check her out, guys. All right. So we are going to do some more side steps. You guys ready? Slower pace than the last time, but still doing it. We're gonna go one and two. Oh, bye, Deborah. Bye, bye, bye Miss Deborah. Deborah. She's done. Four, <laughs> five, you better side step six. Out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't she? She slid out of here, didn't she? She was smooth with it. All right, and eight. Let's 
do eight more, okay? One, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. March it out. All right, keep marching, guys. I'm just checking the time to see where we are. I can't check the time on your phone. <laughs> I don't know how you're supposed to. <laughs> oh, that's because you got it upside down. Oh. <laughs> All right, we got nine more minutes. Okay. Yay! So, <laughs> Connie is celebrating. I applaud you for hanging in there. I will give you a high five, but we're still practicing social distancing. Air five. Air five. All right, let's keep going, guys. Okay, so I know this one was hard, but we only have about eight and a half more minutes. We're going to do some more kicks, right? I like kicks. Kicks are fun. We're gonna do the ones that Connie did though, because I wore myself out with those high kicks. I don't know about you, Nurse Janet, doing the moderate, but let's just moderate. do some, uh, oh, Janet's gonna do the moderate. I'm gonna do the low kicks with Connie. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Keep on marching. There we go, back to that march. We're gonna do some of those again, but this time I want everybody to be aware of your core. So anytime you're doing any physical activity, your core is what stabilizes you, right? So the more balanced we are and the more centered we are here, the more stable we'll be. The less likely we'll lose our balance and fall. We don't want anybody falling, right? That's All right. All right. Connie said again, that's why she's on the flat surfaces. We didn't want to take no chances, right? Even though we have the nurse here on, on standby. I take care of everybody. 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 No discrimination. Everybody. <laughs> it could be somebody over there. We're going to get them together, right. right? Yes, we plan on it. Okay, so core tight. Hold your abs in. Get your back up long and straight. Shoulders up to your ears. Then take your shoulders back and drop them down behind you. That'll help straighten the top or your upper body, okay? And so we're gonna do our kicks again. Put a little twist in it this time, you ready? And one, two, three, your arms four, hey, five. Nurse Benson says swinging your arms will help keep you balanced as well. Seven and eight, march it out. Okay, that felt good. Y'all wanna do those again? Sure. Okay, one more time. And one, and two, Three and four and five, six, seven, and eight. March it out. Okay, let's do one more health tip or health benefit before we start to do our cool down. We're going to do a little stretching, kind of loosen up those muscles that we worked. Okay? I got one. Connie's got a health tip that she wants to share with us. Okay. I forget sometimes and then I pay the price. Okay. Connie was saying that if you're going to be going out in the sun, you want to make sure that you are wearing sunblock, sunscreen, something of that nature to protect your skin because you do not want to get burned by trying to do a healthy thing, right? We shouldn't be punished for doing good, right? right. Nurse Benson, what's the best? Um, SPF 50. That's right. She just said it before I got to finish my question. <laughs> SPF 50 or higher, and you are good to go to get that sun block. So Connie made sure she put some on. I saw her out here getting ready before I got a chance to get set up. Oh, oh she's got 30. But Nurse Benson said 50. But 30 will do if that's what you have. It's better than nothing, right? That's right. Okay. Okay. Let's take a cool down. We're going to do back some more side to side and just kind of test that out. Woo, I'm burning, lady. Woo, me too. I've been out of it. Two months on quarantine is definitely feeling. I'm feeling that. Oh, yeah. Yes, okay. Okay, so ways that we can stretch. Um, Nurse Benson, you wanna, yeah. can we do this? Can you touch my shoulder? Can we just? Okay. No. We can't touch because we're still social, social distancing. distancing. Yeah. But I'm, there's a table here with the camera. So I'm going to hold on to the table and then I'm going to stretch. Nurse Benson, can you, do you think you can do that in the air safely? Go ahead. Oh, yeah. oh good we job. Go ahead. 
<laughs> so we are stretching our quads out here with that move. It's real easy. You She's got it. Now, but that's all I got. She's got it. And so you want to just make sure you, you get that other one face. too. Only do this if you know you have balance to do it. If not, you can always do other stretches. To, so to Connie and I are lunging. There we go. We're going to do some lunges. I think, oh, Connie. Oh, Connie he's, okay, you guys. he's improvising and she's using the sign That's behind us. Yeah. There oh, you go. So if you want, you can do some lunges and just make sure you get a good stretch here. Going to do those. core tight that's why or I wouldn't have fallen okay Ooh, good job. all right all right now let's get our, our uh, calf stretch so we're going to do that just put your heel up toes pointed up in front of you and then just kind of bend that knee behind you and just kind of stretch sit down into it a little bit we're going to get our the back of our leg stretched out so you are putting your toe up heel down and then we're going to bend the other the opposing leg and just sit down into that stretch I actually feel that in both legs a good stretch. Let's switch to the other side. Same thing, heel down, toes up, and then sit down on the other leg. Get a nice stretch. Remember, it's the wind. Every time I get unbalanced, it's the wind blowing. Okay, my core wasn't tight, it's me. <laughs> so we <laughs> go ahead and get that stretch. But remember, if you need to sit down, please feel free to sit down and do these stretches as well. Okay? So I feel like that was definitely a good walk. Got our heart rates up and then back down again, then back up and then back down. It's been quite a roller coaster ride. <laughs> but we want to thank you all for joining us for this Walking for Wellness Wednesday with Shakira, Nurse Benson, and Connie. Thank you so, for our Bye, everybody. We will all see you another time. Until then, take care and be safe.